Um, but then Stockfish got better. Yeah, but it's still, uh, Alpha Zero still dominates the game. Now, okay. when we look at these games, you know, and that's the first time when I thought, oh, wow, I can learn something from these machines. Alpha Zero um, uh, played chess more aggressively. Contrary to our expectations, that stronger machines will play dollar games more you know just it's the slow more games because they every uh, sacrifice can can be refuted so that's why machines they don't take too much risk but alpha zero contrary to our beliefs you know played very aggressive chess sacrificing material and 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 being beating stockfish machine not humans it's by just you know uh, 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 always being um, one or two moves ahead in anticipating what's coming next now it's I use words sacrifice. Yeah. But for deep for for machine for Alpha Zero, it wasn't a sacrifice. Alpha Zero, thanks to its massive experience through these 60, 60 million games, six zero, 60 million games to play against itself. Yeah. So it generated a bank of 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 data, so right. this is, which provided its you know better understanding of patterns. So when Alpha Zero sacrificed, quote unquote, in, in his we saw it as a sacrifice. It for Alpha Zero, it was the transformation of a material uh, 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 um, pawns or, or or pieces into other factors that were more dominant. Position or momentum. Exactly, or it's a like momentum. So, and it's 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 and it's amazing that it's Alpha Zero that that had you know just looked at the fewer positions. It's about one percent of what you know when you look at the at the at the number of positions analyzed okay. versus Stockfish. It was far more prescient in understanding what's coming next. Again, playing without the material. Stockfish, you know, it took, you know, uh, one or two moves to actually understand what's coming because it looked, and it, again, it's, it's not that it's the combination was winning. It's when Alpha Zero made sacrifices. Yeah. It was not a forced win because well, but, Stockfish would have seen it as well. Okay. But it, 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 it was, you know, it was, again, deeper understanding of the game based on, 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 on its, it's a pattern that it, 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 it was uh, able to design out of these 60 million games. But in general, I would think about brilliance. Again, imagine me telling you what a brilliance is. It's ridiculous. I don't know. But I don't know either. I exactly. Brilliant games. But, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, but one thing I, I might define it as is anything that where there would be a body of conventional wisdom and then there's a move that is deeply weird relative to that expectation. So, for example, a move that doesn't seem to develop anything it's like a, almost a waste, a throwaway move could also be a brilliancy if it turned out that that unlocked something nobody could but, see. And, yeah, yes, anything that surprises people right. you know, it could be brilliant. So, uh, yeah, maybe one of the most uh, brilliant moves based on your definition sure. I ever made was game 24. I played Anatoly Karpov. It's, it was a unique moment when you just, you know, it's, it's, I had to survive this game and Karpov had to win the game to, to, to uh, retain his title. I right. was one you know, point ahead and it was the last game of the match. Um, and Karpov had a very, you know, potentially very strong attack. And I found a move that was totally illogical. By the way, ever since this game, this, this, this idea became a you know, part of the defensive uh, uh, um, concept for, okay. for, for Black. Uh, but at that time, you know, it was just, it looked so ugly because you don't put these rooks, you know, just uh, in, in, in just in a position where it, it, it has no other moves surrounded by, by your own pieces. But it was not about, you know, it's not about attacking. Basically, it was a very good prophylactic move because it prevented big threats from, from, from white and it had to force Corporal to start looking for other plans. So, you know, it's, and I was very happy when I just, I remember I, remember I made this move because I just didn't understand how else to defend. It just was so much against, you know, what I learned, but I made a move. And I remember when I just, you know, it's this is when Karpov came to the stage, he looked at this and then it's great. Another great player. He realized that this move basically killed his attacking, you know, uh, mm. uh, uh, um, uh, uh, structure. And it's, it's, and, and he had to actually start regrouping pieces, wasting time. And he just, I think it's, it's, it definitely, sh the, 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 it's not just a strong move, but it was so unusual move looking weird. But it's it it shook Karpov's confidence and 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 he quickly made a mistake and lost the game. That's